All right, so here you can see that uh, Mark is excavating the loops and he's going to be digging down five feet uh, so that he can tie the tops of these loops together. And uh, then once they're all tied together, they're going to go to a header that's instead of three quarter inch, it'll be an inch and a quarter and that will go into the house. So it'll be two pipes going into the house. So here we see Mark has finished the trenching and is now starting to tie together the geothermal pipe. Uh, once they're all tied together onto the header which goes into the house, he will then backfill these trenches and hopefully I will have a lawn again. So it's a bit hard to see, but the fusion is done in this, in these three pipes. The, and Mark's working on the other ones on the other side now. Mighty muddy down here in the ditch. <laughs> oh, foot's getting stuck. So here's a fusion we just did. It's just cooling down. So that's a reducing T valve. There's Mark. In focus. It's going to do some more T junctions down here. So here we are in the mud. And it's pretty sticky. Doing some fusion. I'm holding the fusion iron and it's hot. And we have electrical and we got water, always a good combination. Mark's holding a fused pipe for, what is it, 60 seconds? 30. Oh. And, uh, and that's one more connection done. Ah, it's day two of the geothermal tie-in and our trenches are being filled back in now. All of the geothermal pipes have been connected with a little bit of extra left over that's going to go into the house. It'll go in somewhere around where the barbecue is there. So all of the slurry is now filling the trenches and all of this is being backfilled.
So now you can see that most of the other uh, ditches, uh, trenches have been closed in and one leading to the house has been dug and Mark is just clearing away a space so that the pipe can go right into the house. So what are you doing right now? Why are you doing that? Because I'm cutting the pipe. Uh -huh. Aha. Why did you pressurize it? Start the leak. Aha. Uh -huh. So the whole loop is pressurized right now, or at least was pressurized, and Mark's just let out all of the air, or letting out the air, and then he's gonna cut it. Just before he puts it in to the hole, which is right there. One down, one to go. Two down already. There, we got the final filling in and then everything will be done besides hooking up the geo system inside okay so we're on the last stage of installing the geothermal heating and cooling system here's the two pipes coming into the house from the loop and we have to hook them up to a pipe two pipes going across through the ceiling over and down to the heat pump in the other room which we put in yesterday. Here it is. The G 
Geosmart Premium G. And we've already connected the flow center. And that's going to the heat pump. So this is the pump that controls the flow from the loop. So Mark is doing some fusion on the, one of the last elbows that we'll be connecting to the loop on the outside, uh, which goes to the 12 holes that were drilled, each at 80 feet deep. And all of these pipes are insulated so that uh, the heat is not lost. when it comes into the house. All right, so we're doing the last fusion to hook up a geothermal loop. And once this is done, we'll be able to do some, uh, we'll be able to flush the, fill the loop with water. Okay. <clears throat> so we're adding the uh, alcohol, the uh, ethanol, yeah. to the loop, to the flush cart. Um, and we're ready to flush the loop. Once the flush cart is turned on, that will circulate the ethanol into the loop through those two green pipes that you can see, going through the flow center. And uh, that will mix the existing water that's in the loop. It'll also take out any debris and uh, that, that's existing in the loop, any dirt. Uh, that got in there during the installation of the loop and uh, we can also top up the loop with water So how do you know how much uh, ethanol to put in there? By the loop size So much for every plug of three quarter and So you've measured that tank is measured the tank is measured and you've got it measured exactly to how much we need to put in there? Yep. Okay. So now we have some water going in that's uh, going to top up the loop. How do you know when it's full? So what's happening now? Get the air out of the loop. So why is it bubbling? Because the air bubbles that are in the loop. So when it stops bubbling? Then that's all liquid coming through and then you'll see more air come through. So how long should we wait until the bubbles are clear? Uh, like until... The range is different ones. Sometimes it's 10 minutes you can be done. Sometimes why is it done. white now? That's the ethanol forming up. All right. <clears throat> There's a big one. One should drop down. We gotta add a bit more water. So that blue will mix in a little, it'll become a little clearer, right? Yep. 